Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Taylor, Michigan, in the courtroom of Judge Victoria Shackelford as she uh, takes on the well-known Sovtard and Frauditor, Broken System, Broken Trust, a.k.a. Joshua Lanto. And, uh, well, it's quite clear that she is not going to put up with any, any of his stupidity or BS. So, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, Mr. Lanto, can you come on up? Hello. Hello. This is the city of Taylor versus Joshua Lanto. You're at this table, sir. Okay. Uh, Mr. Greco, can I get your appearance? Yes, Your Honor. David Greco here on behalf of the city of Taylor. <laughs> Mr. Lanto, can you tell me your name? Uh, my name is Joshua Lanto. Okay, thank you. All right, so today is the time and date we had set for a trial, Mr. Greco. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, as you are aware, this case was apparently transferred to you within the last month or so, I believe. I've been the prosecutor handling this case. Uh, I was aware of the transfer, but was not aware of the jury trial date scheduled for today. It had gotten assigned to the other prosecutor, Mr. Zick. I was not aware of this until late last week, was not able to get everything together uh, to contact my witnesses and, as, and, and let the court staff know earlier in the week that well, then I, won't see I would not be. This is not your show, Josh. This is a respectful environment where you let people talk and not interrupt them. Otherwise, you'll be held in contempt of court by the judge. So shut your damn mouth, be respectful, and let the prosecutor explain the rationale behind why he has had to uh, file this motion for a uh, an adjournment to make sure that he gets everything correct so he can try your sorry ass it's so you'll I'm, get a chance to respond so I'm, wait for your turn so i'm requesting an adjournment as i honestly did not know in time i knew of the transfer but did not know of the date scheduled until i was contacted by the other prosecutor last week uh and then as you know i contacted the court staff letting you know that i would be the one holding on to the case and that there was no way for me to appear today or the witnesses all right, thank you, Mr. Greco. Mr. Lanto? I've been here about 10 times now. I asked at the very first proceeding if I have the right to a fair and meaningful hearing. Do I have the right to a fair and meaningful hearing? Yes, you'll have a fair trial. Uh, but I have a feeling that uh, even if you lose, you're still going to bitch and complain that uh, the trial was rigged and everything like that because, well, you've done it before. You bitch and complain that the it was, it was set up against you. No, dude, you're just that much of a prick to the point where nobody in the jury box will want to... Uh, the rule in your favor. I mean, I certainly wouldn't after listening to you for a few hours. I am not going to play games with you, sir. Do you need to make a motion? Is there something you want to tell me? I just want to, I have a simple question for clarification. Very simple. I, I'm not Do answering your right? questions. I am here to conduct a jury trial today. Me the too. prosecutor has requested an adjournment. And I am asking you what your response to his request is. Okay, well, it seems like you're getting really angry. Oh, I'm not. I'm being stern with you because well, I'm asking you, a, sir, if you cannot answer my question, if, do you have a response to that? Do I have a response to what he just said? I just want to know if I have the, but to, in order to respond to that, what I need to know is do I have the right to appear in a meaningful hearing? Well, I've already stated my opinion about that because I know your type. You're going to complain about it afterwards being rigged and everything like that. I mean, it's only natural for uh, somebody like you, a conspiracy theorist, soft art, flat earther, and all around loser and failure in life to complain about a system that they don't understand not being fair. And that's it. Well, do you want an attorney that can advise you of your constitutional no, I, rights? I want to know from you because you are presiding over this. Sir. Sir. 
I can't come in here once a trial. There is no trial, sir. Oh, I'll interfere with you. I'll call it court. Really? You know we're on YouTube, right? Oh, I do. Right. Oh my God, who the hell cares? So I'm Why asking you, you sir, you are in my courtroom because there is an allegation against you I, uh, that okay. you threatened the other judge in this building. Then why am I not charged? I, that's not, I, sir, I'm not a charging official. No, I'm a judge. Do you want to be held in yeah. contempt of court today? Well, Mr. No, Greco, your motion is granted. The trial will be adjourned. This trial was put on a fast track when it was transferred to me what does that mean? so that we could address this and have let, so that Mr. Lanto could have his date in court forthwith. I understand that I do not have the same prosecutor as Judge Slavin. And obviously, on a case like this, with a history like this, Mr. Uh, Greco wants to stay on the case, and that's appropriate. He was not given notice because the notice Why went to Mr. Notice? Zick, my courtroom prosecutor, sir. So who that is why. that? That's all I'm asking. Sir, it was a clerical error. A anything. clerical error. Okay, your motion's granted, Mr. Greco. We will get you a new trial date, sir. And I'm going to let them know downstairs that that trial date continues. Uh, we'll need to be fast-tracked so that we can get you on the docket as soon as possible. I'm going to get this resolved today. Okay. Well, you can wish in one hand and crap in the other and see which gets filled first. Sorry, Gomer, but you're not in charge here. The prosecutor, because of a clerical error that happened along the line, not anything to do with him, needs a few more days to get this show on the road so he can make sure that his T's, T's are crossed and his I's are dotted. And I would expect somebody like you to understand that... Uh, well, maybe you could use the extra time to figure out your defense. But I guess logical thinking went out the window a long time for you, didn't it, boy? I want to get this all, and I have a few questions about the charging document that I was given. Can I, can I, can I ask about that without being threatened? You can. Sir, you can speak with an attorney. You have a right to. I don't want to speak with If you an want attorney, to address to these matters on your trial date, I am more than happy to address your concerns. You're but this is not going to be concerns. a circus. This is not going to be the Joshua Lanto show. <laughs> this is going to be a jury trial that is conducted with proper courtroom decorum and behavior. And that is how we will be moving forward. If you are respectful to me, we will get through this very quickly and efficiently, but I will not tolerate outlandish behavior in the courtroom. I will not. Well, I, I don't know anything about you, Mr. Lanto. Right, nothing. Right. You don't know anything I about don't me. Let the record I have show every that. indication. Um, I have every inclination, and I have uh, no reason to believe that I cannot be fair and impartial in this case. I have no reason to believe that, and we will conduct that trial, um, but we will have proper courtroom decorum throughout these proceedings. You have a constitutional right to an attorney, and if it's my understanding at previous hearings that you have um, waived your right to counsel, that you want to represent yourself, and that is... Um, within your rights, sir. Okay. But you will do it if you're going to represent yourself. The same rules will apply to you that would apply to any other attorney you who appeared the, in front of me. You are the chief judge, correct? Correct. Okay. So it appears to me like you're getting very angry. And let the record show the only one that's been given threats here is me. You've threatened me with contempt already. Okay. Right? Well, Joshy boy, when you act all disorderly and act like a damn jackass in court, that's what tends to happen. The judge has power over that particular decision right there. If they want to hold you in contempt because you're acting unprofessionally, acting like, uh, well, your normal everyday self out on the street, which is a complete and total jackass, that's most likely the reason why you have such uh, issues with your personal life as well at this moment. If you would straighten your ass out and maybe get yourself a decent job or something like that, maybe you wouldn't have any so, so many problems in your damn life.
And you okay. expect me to uh, expect you to be fair and impartial? Okay. I mean, you're not going to be able to. Is there anything else? Yes. Okay. That I've done anything wrong. You have a sign outside your door that says, "Due to COVID, you're you're willing to put six jurors in a box with COVID." Uh, you have a sign out there that says, "COVID is dangerous." You're going to put everybody in danger because you you don't like free speech here in Taylor. Josh, I really don't see the connection between any of that right there. You are just speaking word salad right now. And uh, that's all that is. Just flat out nonsensical grade F word salad. Okay. okay. All right. We're all set. This hearing's concluded, sir. You'll get notice of that trial date in the mail. I will let them know downstairs to expedite this. And I'm optimistic that we can get you a trial date. Uh, in February. Could you please answer my question because I think it's a very basic logic. All right, we're all set. Thank question. you. We're all Thank set, God. sir. Josh, uh, none of your questions are logical. In fact, many of your questions are quite illogical, and uh, many of your questions that well, that actually do have an answer were already answered for you, but you just refuse to accept the facts of each answered question, which can be attributed to your own deep confirmation bias, and you will never accept the truth. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you playing cereal? Who's that?